Shalom, friends. So in this week's Torah portion, Kitisa, we're talking about building the tabernacle, the portable ark, and the Mishkan, the, the larger tabernacle in which the Israelites are able to praise and serve God by performing sacrifices, by coming together as a community, the tabernacle and the tent of meeting. And what's established this week is a brilliant insight about what it means to participate, what it means to be present, and frankly, what it means when your spirit waxes and wanes, when the mood comes and goes, or when your capacity comes and goes. So the Torah talks about instituting a half shekel tax. Once a year, every member of the Israelite community, whether old or young, rich or poor, contributed half a shekel, which was used first to build and later to maintain the tabernacle and the tent of meeting. And it's really striking because the Torah is clear about this, that everybody participates. Ha'ashir lo yirbe v'hadal lo yimat. The rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel, which they give as an offering to God to make atonement for their souls. So what's going on here? On one level, what the Torah is establishing as a matter of policy is that everybody participates. Nobody sits this out. And that, I think, is a crucial way for us to think about our own social structure as well. Are we creating institutions in which everybody has a way in, in which everybody has a role to play and everyone is doing something constructive? Again, rich or poor, male or female, straight or gay, whatever their race, whoever they are, whatever their profession, everybody has something to bring to contribute to success. But I also want to take the Torah and turn it in. It's not just about public policy and institutions, it's about our inner life. You know, there are days where we feel rich, where we just feel like there's a song in our hearts and we're ready to dance and everything is going our way. And there are days where we feel poor, we are impoverished, there's a lack of energy, a lack of vision, something crushing us down. And I think what the Torah is telling us here is a deep psychological, spiritual insight that we all have the chance to participate even in our low moments, even in our high moments. We bring our giddiness to the service of God and the world. We bring our depression, painful as that is, to the service of God and the world. We can have something to offer in all of our emotional and spiritual states. And the question to ask ourselves is, what do I have to give today? What unique mix do I reflect that I can bring to the world, to my community, to my friends, and frankly, to myself? Because each of us are a mishkan, a tabernacle in which God dwells. Our communities are a mishkan in which God dwells. The world is God's mishkan. So, rich or poor, you have something to give today. How about you dig deep, you find it, and you make an offering. Shalom.